Day two, we're in the Bahamas. Yeah, boy. today just because we got a warning on the front of our like daily that has a schedule of everything that's going on about crime apparently <laughs> they're assaulting people <laughs> taking their stuff um, locals are so what we're doing is just being cautious we're not gonna not do things because of that but we're also not the demographic that usually has that happen but still to be safe so we just have our gimbal with us today and a GoPro so we didn't check out the drone we didn't check out any of that stuff so we're just gonna be minimal <laughs> with stuff we also didn't bring much money and it's hidden um, among our things so just when you come into ports like this just be really cautious and aware of your surroundings and you should be just fine The oil country it runs on Duncan. Okay, so we're headed to Junkanoo Beach. They have a bar called Bikini Tiki Hut that's supposed to have really cheap drinks. So we're gonna go check it out, see what it's about. We're gonna clamshell, <laughs> maybe just lay around for a little while. It's only about and a 10 minute walk. Yeah, uh, 10 12 minute walk. From the pier, so we'll see how it is. I actually we're coming up right upon it right yeah. now, uh, so. And we well, didn't, you know, run into any issues. Just be aware of where you are. Oh. I get a little nervous, but there's there's policemen at every corner. You just hanging out, guys in white, button down shirts and bobby hats. <laughs> yeah. Just showing out. We passed so. the straw market, and I had somebody tell me, uh, ask me if I wanted my hair braided because I could be a Bahama mama. So I don't think it's a good look for me though. But we'll go to the straw market and see what that's all about and film it so you guys can see. But we're here, Duckney Beach. Each came with a drink, but she gave us two drinks in each chair, so it was $20. So we're gonna hang. 
hang out here for a while and have a couple of drinks and just see. The people are nice. I'm in friends with the bartender. <laughs> huh? How's that? I told him. I said, what do you suggest? What's good? And he was like, I got something for you. I said, just surprise me. So this is Happy Gully. But it looks strong. He didn't he didn't mix it light. Right. Wanna try? First taste? Cheers to the hummus. Cheers to the hummus. Mm. I told him I like it fruity. Oh, it's a lot of alcohol. <laughs> See you got two more. Cool. So I feel like we'd be amiss if we weren't we're in the Bahamas and getting get a Bahama Mama. So that's what it's that's good. what these are. Hi guys, welcome to Jungle the Beach. This is Nassau Bahamas, Jungle the Beach, Tiki Bikini. We're at number one on TripAdvisor. I'm Diva the host. Okay guys? <laughs> we have great specials all day. We have four bears, four shots for $10. Four plain coconuts for nine ninety. <laughs> Unlimited coconut is $20. Meaning you drink all day. 200 drinks per person. No one never made the 200. <laughs> Unlimited drink for the bar pack. All we have all day pack is $40. You drink all fucking day. You drink till you tired. All, all bears, all shots, big string. Lounge here, a hot roll, and a meal. What about the And you're fun. He's fun. Oh, yeah. We tell you all the DJs. One in the front, one in the back. The beach He'll is greet very you. Big. Greet you when you come oh, in and say hi. Nice to meet him on the And he'll remember your name. <laughs> Should have 
had you out already. No, we actually are done for the day. We've really? already been to the straw market. Oh yes, ma'am. We already bought some things. Oh, I just was about. <laughs> so right behind me is the street that you come on if you are looking for handbags, knockoff bags, sunglasses, things like that. We like to travel so much, you know, who doesn't want a Chanel purse but doesn't want to pay $1,200 for it? Me. So we came down here and I got a Kate Spade bag and some Chanel sunglasses and I'm very excited about my purchases today. <laughs> so got these and then I got ambulance and then I got a Kate Spade bag that's gorgeous. We went to four shops, I went back and forth, but at the end of the day, got the deal I wanted for the money I wanted and the products I wanted. So, we're happy. I'm going to punch something original to the Bahamas. I'm not really sure what, what it tastes like or is like at all, but I heard you need to try it while you're here. So, here we are. Do it first taste. Pretty good. Yeah, it was decent. Like Sprite and pineapple mix. Wrapping up here at Nassau and uh, had a good day. It's about one o'clock for two o'clock departure. Kind of weird hours. They have us coming in at eight o'clock in the morning and leaving at two. And one, well, say one thirty is when they sell all aboard. Yeah. Um, but I had a cool, cool morning. Uh, highlights are haggling at the straw market. Um, get the purse and get, the sunglasses. Yeah, get some knockoff invitation stuff, and then also. Um, Drunken New Beach was really fun too. They were yeah, really those people were fun. You'll see a video. We got to meet Diva, mm -hmm. who's one of the hosts over there, and so you guys will definitely see him. <laughs> yes, that's right. He's fun. I always find those kinds of people for some reason. Uh, but really good, really good deals. Uh, a lot of cool bargain. Uh, it's all over the island, especially like um, the drink packages. You can do what like four beers and four shots, like twenty bucks. It's really $10. cheap. A ten dollars. Yeah, that's right. It's ten dollars. I don't know how they afford it, but they do. Um, <laughs> but it's decently, decently priced. So it's a lot of cool things to that too. So yeah, great uh, weather. Good, perfect weather good, today. Mm-hmm. So can't, can't complain. Going to be able to ever go back to a room without a balcony on a cruise. It's just too nice. So we're having just a leisurely afternoon. The ship left the Bahamas at two and I'm not gonna lie we took a nap. <laughs> we took a nap, went to sleep, um, just enjoyed our afternoon. We went and played trivia, met some nice people. We always play trivia on cruises and enjoy ourselves. Um, so we did that and then got some coffee, which was awesome and actually really priced well, cheaper than Starbucks, believe it or not. And then um, just kind of did some walking around and some exploring, just kind of see what's going on. Tonight is the first formal night on the ship. I came back to the room. Jimmy went to the cigar lounge to smoke his new cigar. And uh, we have dinner in about an hour. It's gonna be our first dinner in the dining room. Last night we just went to the buffet because we were kind of wore out. Um, the show tonight we're gonna go see. They did a recreation of The Mask. And so we're gonna, gonna do that. And uh, so yeah, wait, I just wanted to check in and 
so you guys know that the day is going awesome. Things are just as good. We still have positive thoughts and feelings about the cruise line that we've chosen this time. I think they're awesome. Um, I don't understand some of the negative things that we saw. We were a little frustrated <coughs> Excuse me, at lunch because it was about the time everybody got back on the ship and everybody's hungry and everybody wants to eat and there was no place to sit. Um, no, literally no place to sit. And so we got our plates and we came back down to our room and ate on the balcony and then went back down, got dessert, came back up and <laughs> ate on the balcony. So it's not a bad trade, I don't think, but there was no place to sit. So those people who have rooms much further away than two floors, like we do, it, it was probably more frustrating. So that's a bummer. We didn't have any trouble at breakfast though, which was kind of a weird, You'd think it'd be every day and every time of meal, but no. They have food here around the clock, but that just, I think, happened to be time everybody's trying to eat. So it's only a really frustrating thing we've encountered today. Other than that, everything's been positive and great. So anyway, we will, I guess I should probably get ready. <laughs> I want to sit on my balcony and just enjoy this instead of get ready for dinner, but I need to get ready for dinner. And then, uh... Yeah, we have two formal nights this week, so this is our first one. Hey, uh, travel tip. So if you ever want to know if someone's in their room or not, on Davina, just look up here. That orange light, that means so it's occupied and the card is in the slot for the power. Didn't know that, but now I do. Good morning. We're actually kind of fired. We forgot to <laughs> do a recap of day two last night. We were up to what? 11-ish. 11.30. And then we just crashed mm -hmm. and decided to go to sleep. So we didn't end up closing day two and letting everybody know kind of how things went. And we kind of did a bad job of taking the camera with us and filming once we got back on the ship yesterday. Mm -hmm. But we'll make it up for it later. Yeah. Make so up for it later. Mm -hmm. We're actually in day three right now, but we'll go ahead and let you guys know how day two went yesterday. Mm -hmm. All in all, really well. Uh, I ate the formal, did formal dining last night. It was formal night. Um... Had uh, pretty good food in the dining area. This portions are a little bit smaller than other cruise lines we've been on. Um, it was uh, filet mignon, but it's kind of a petite. What you can't lines say have. much because as Americans, you know the portion sizes and things that we're used to are well, they're huge and they're probably way too big. Mm -hmm. That's probably a part of the problem. That's but why we're chubby, and we're away right now. <laughs> so it um, it's it's interesting. But I mean, we weren't starving when we left. I mean, we were okay. We went got yeah. a snack few hours later at the at the buffet like piece pizza mm -hmm. and but. we did i guess we can i now figure out can, can real i guess appreciate why people are saying that it takes a while to get your food full night it took us about hour and 15 minutes oh, to get know. our three course meal um and uh like they're they're working pretty quick about getting things in and out but it just like waited forever to get the food out so it's just kind of surprising you know we we're going to give it another shot for the rest of the week and eat dinner there just because the crowds and the, the, the buffet are crazy. So you know it's raining outside. Is it raining? Oh, it is raining. But that's not going to hamper our fun today. No, no, no. No. <laughs> so day two overall I feel like was really good. We started our day in Nassau, which you guys saw a whole lot of, and we had a great time doing some shopping. And once we got back on the ship, you know, we went up and tried to eat lunch, and there was a ton of people, so we had to come back and eat in our room. One of the things that doesn't make sense for us is there's two different dining rooms, at least for me, it's two, two different dining rooms on the ship, and one is two floors right below us. We go right to it, but for some reason, we're actually on the other side of the ship, not the dining room. Like, I don't know why they set it up that way. Maybe it's just a luck of the draw or whatever, but... It may have to do with the experience convenient. that you choose, to. That's like, which one you have. That's true. I don't know. But so once we got done with dinner, we hung out. Uh, wanted to go to the show later, so before we went to the show, we went and tried out the casino. Uh, you can now use your, your uh, ship card um, instead of cash, instead which of cash. is... Kind of dangerous if you because have a problem. Your credit card, yeah. or your debit card, and before you know it, man, you're a hundred dollars in. It's like going to Dave and Buster's. You don't yeah. realize how much you have on your card, and then you can spend quite a bit. Well, we had cash. We we spent twenty dollars. I think we we're trying to be really diligent about what we spend in a casino wherever we go when mm -hmm. we go play. But uh, I discovered blackjack, and that's pretty fun. I never played before. I'm pretty good. You got an addict now. I I mean, I'd never played before, but I turned my five dollars into twenty dollars in just a few minutes. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and just a few minutes after that, you lost it all. Because he jinxed me. He made a video. I made a video about and it. Jinxed and jinxed me, and, and before I know it, man, it was gone. Downhill. 
It was gone. I should have mm-hmm. never said anything. Because I was going to I was gonna cash out when I got to 20, and I stayed at 19 consistently for a while. But it was fun. I mean, I feel like I, I have a good feel for it. So I'm going to work my way up to the tables. I'm going to... I'm going to keep playing the automated, like, the computer machine. <laughs> so after that, we went and saw uh, the Evening's Entertainment, which is The Mask. The Mask. Uh, the Mask was it's pretty good. Um, based I, on the movie. The mo- it's not based on the movie, but... Based on the character, which yeah. kind of is confusing. Like, I don't really quite understand. Like, just did a lot of dancing and, and dance uh, acrobatics and stuff. And, like, also comes out, like, guy doing a hula hoop stuff. I don't know what cool, has to do with the mask, though. but it was still pretty cool. The acrobatics uh-huh. were really cool, and I thought, you know, some of those effects were really neat. Uh, the dancers were good. I thought mm-hmm. the dancers were really good that they have on on the ship and everything. <coughs> and then they even had, like, the bad guy. Remember from the movie, like, the bad guy green mask? They had his character mm-hmm. um, in the show, so it was pretty good. One of the cool things that we that was needed was they introduced all of the senior officers and st- uh, staff on the ship. Um, this is a definitely a multicultural, oh, yeah. international ship compared to other ships we've been on. But Not the just staff, the staff, but, but the, people the, the people here. here. And so all the countries, especially Europe, are here right now. So the captain, who is always usually pretty charming and, and dashing, you He's know, Italian, Italian. Yeah. Uh, he said thank you and welcome aboard in like what fifteen different languages 15 at 15 least. Different. That's yeah. that was pretty neat. We thought that's pretty unusual uh, to have have a uh, captain do that and. Uh, it's a pretty good little welcome. Yeah. He welcome had some thing. jokes too because mm-hmm. everybody cheers for the chef, you know, when they come out and and he said you cheer for the chef because you enjoy his food. He said, but when you wake up in the morning and you look out your window and see beautiful Miami, you'll rethink your decisions, which I thought was pretty funny. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> if there's one word of advice I could give you, uh, if you're cruising, a first-time cruiser, been cruising for a long time, is you be, be nice to people. Uh, Isn't that such a weird it, thing to have to say? I just can't true. believe it because we've actually talked with every all the staff mm-hmm. um, that are on the ship. We just joke around with them, and it's just amazing a different result you'll get mm-hmm. when you talk to them as people. And it, it just we did breakfast with some people this morning, and they've been on what 20, 20 cruises, fifteen they've cruises been on a year, fifteen cruises a year, which is year. absurd. But they're from New York, and not the <laughs> not to uh, stereotype everybody from New York because I've lived there myself, and a lot of good people, but. It's like, uh, and the guy wanted, uh, it was demanding. a list of demands. Little never demanding. said please, never said thank you. It's like, they, it, they were just weren't it's very just, friendly. It just, human decency. They were decency. friendly, but they were very, not to the staff. They were really nice to us, and mm-hmm. they were very friendly and talkative and nice to us, but different with the staff. And so I think that's a great point to say, mm-hmm. is just to be nice to people. Because I think we have people approach us all the time. We had two people that are actually on this cruise that are down the hallway from us approach us on the beach yesterday in the Bahamas. So I think to have that just friendly demeanor about you, I think will take you a long way in your treatment, not only from the staff, but of other people aboard with you. Mm-hmm. Like I think that will enrich your experience is if you go into it with kind of a kind spirit. Mm-hmm. So that's basically it. Uh, nutshell for day two. And uh, stick around for more to come. So, starting day three, gonna fix this. And start day three. <laughs>